Okay, and we are back. So, 3.2 it says, Mina has three round baking pans in her kitchen, each with a diameter as shown below. Remember, diameter means going from one side of the circle to the other, okay? And a diameter, right, if that's the diameter, always equals two times the radius because the radius only goes from the middle to the side. Very important. So this guy's the radius. Perfect. Okay. Then it says, the recipe requires Mina to use a pan with a diameter of eight inches. Okay. Determine which calculation, with sorry, with calculations, which pan, A, B, or C, she must use if one inch equals. So we can just write the ratio, guys. This is all about ratios. Okay. Ratios are so important in the syllabus. Okay. So now you're like, why are you putting in arrows? But I'll tell you, don't worry. Right, so we're going, the ratio is one inch to 2.54 centimeters, right? But the question is said, we need eight inches. So what do we have to do to one inch to get to eight? You times it by eight. So whatever we do to the one side, we always have to do to the other side. I cannot tell you this enough times, okay? Eight times 2.54, smashed it. So it will be, 20.32 centimeters, okay? Now, this is a bit tricky, right? Because neither, like there's no pan that actually fits the spec, right? None, none, or none of the three, right? Actually are exactly this. So you could say A, because A is a little bit bigger, or you could say B, because what you could do, I mean, it's only slightly different. It just means that it'll be slightly higher, right? And um, when she pours in, her, her mixture, right? Because it will be, the diameter will be slightly smaller than they gave us, but it won't make a huge difference to the cake, okay? So you can say A or B, okay? Not a stress, you can say either of those, whatever you think is most, most suitable, not a stress, but it's definitely not C, right? 15 centimeters is too small, okay? Now let's move to 3.2.2. So 3.2.2 says, calculate the volume of the baking pan chosen in question 3.2.1, if the pan has a height of six centimeters. Ah, lovely, and they gave us some formula. So they said volume of a cylinder, right, equals area of the base times height, and they're asking us for volume. Okay, so remember I said A or B, so I'll calculate it, I'll do it for both, just so that you can see that, okay? So for A, the area of the base, okay, the area of the base is going to be, let me just see if they gave us a, um, sorry, let me just see if they gave us any sort of indication over here. Oh, okay, so they didn't actually give us, sorry, they didn't give us the full version of what you have to do to get the area of the base, right? Because generally what they do, area of the base is pi, Okay, um, times r squared times height. That's what the the uh, the the um, the area the volume of a cylinder generally is. Okay, so the area of the base is going to be pi times r squared times the height. So I'm not sure why they didn't give this to you. I don't know if you have like maybe a formula sheet, but this should be pi times r squared. Okay, I'm not sure why. I don't know if there's an issue here, but they would generally give that to you. Okay. Um, so that's what we need to work out. We know that, right, the radius for A, right, A being the bottom one will be 23 over 2, right, and the radius for B will be 20 over 2. You could be saying, Margs, why are you doing that? Well, remember, they give us the diameter over here, and I said at the top over here, right, the diameter is always two times the radius. So if we want to find the radius, we have to divide the diameter by 2, okay, so I'm just going to write this formula this side as well. Okay. And then we can just hoi it into our, um, oh dear, into our calculator. Okay. So I'm going to put this over here. So 23 over 2 squared. Okay. So you can actually just put this in if you want to, just so that you know exactly how I'm doing this. Times by 6. I just want to make sure that you can see. Excellent. Okay, 20 over 2 is 10, so it would be 10 squared times by 6. Okay, so then you put that in your calculator. 
Okay, and this is an interesting one. It gives us 2492.85 centimeters cubed. Okay, very important what I've done here. Firstly, round off to two decimal places. Secondly, put in units. When we're talking about volume, you must always think about to the power of three. Let's do it for B, okay? So B, we can say pi, um, where am I now? Pi times 10 squared times six, which gives us 1,884 and 96 centimeters cubed. Okay, so it's very important that you firstly round off, right? Um, and then put in your units. Okay, the reason I used pi here is because they didn't give us pi in the question. Sometimes they say things like pi equals 3.142 or something like that. If they give you a value of pi, do not use pi in your calculator. Use what they've given you. They don't just give you things for the lols. They give it to you so that you use it. Okay, so that's important. Okay. Let's now move on to our last question over here. Okay, so this is for four marks, guys. So it's quite a lot of marks, but we're not going to panic. We're just going to jump in. Okay, if Mina used a square-based baking tin, so that's important. Squares, remember, squares, you draw them like this, and they have equal sides, right? Very important. All sides are equal. With the volume as calculated in question 3.2.2. So it is the same volume and the same height as given above. Calculate the length to the nearest whole number of the sides of the baking tin used. Okay. So again, I'm going to do it for A and B. Okay. So let me make sure you can see that. Okay. So for A, we know that the volume equal 2492.85 centimeters cubed, okay? And I'll do B just now, okay? So that's what the volume equaled, right? So now we're gonna sub it in here. So it's 2492.85 equals L squared. So I'm using this formula over here, right? I'm not just pulling this out of my hat, times six, right? Why is it six? Remember, we were given the height in the previous question, okay? So now we want to get L by itself. And you could be thinking, oh goodness, how do I do that? Remember, bod mass, okay? We're doing the opposite of bod mass, right? Remember, we're trying to undo it so we can get L squared by itself. So when I say the opposite of bod mass, I'm, I'm talking about undoing operations, right? So when we have a divide, we use a times. When we have a plus, we use a minus. So here, we have a times. So we have to... Divided by 6, what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. So then we get L squared equals 2492.85 divided by 6. Okay, so that's what L squared equals, right? But they didn't ask for L squared, right? They just asked for the length. They want L by itself, okay? So how do we get L by itself? Don't freak out. Right? The opposite of squaring is square rooting. Okay? And you could be like, okay, Margie, where's that on the calculator? It's here. There it is. Can you see that? Yes, excellent. Square rooting. So what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side. Okay? Very important. So now we're just going to square root 415.475. Okay? And that is our value of L. Right? So it says L equals... 20.38 centimeters. Okay. Remember, round it off to two decimal places and then put the centimeters. Let's just see if it told us, oh, look, it says there, to the nearest whole number. Okay. So this, we have to round off to the nearest whole number. So is it closer to 21 or to 20? It's closer to 20. So that is the answer when we use A. Okay, now let's quickly do it for B, right? So B is 1884.96, that was the volume, right? L squared times 6. Again, guys, all I've done, I've used what the volume was that we calculated in the previous question for B, 
right? I'm dividing both sides by 6 because I want to get L by itself, right? L squared by itself. 1884.96 divided by 6 gives us 314.16, okay? Then we square root both sides. When you square root L squared, it just gives you L. And when we square root 314.16, it gives us 17.72. I'm rounding off this there. But it asked us to do it to the nearest whole number. 17.72 is closer to 18 centimeters than it is to 17. Okay, so we round it up to 18. So your answer here could either be 18 or it could be 20. Okay, so don't get confused about this. The most difficult thing that we have here is undoing this side to get L by itself, right? Remember, if it's times by 6, you divide it by 6 to get rid of those 6s because anything divided by itself is 1, right? So this just becomes L squared. We square rooted both sides. We got an answer. We rounded it off. Same for B. Okay, so a little bit of a trickier question, but again, not too bad as long as we approach it methodically. Okay, I hope that was helpful, guys.